it's not the, uh, the 50. Uh, not really hopeless. <laughs> but nandyan lang, nandyan lang. Uh, uh, nandyan sa picture sa... Uh, but uh, in the process, kasi sabi nila, paano yan baka makurap kayo? Sabi ko, well, so far, uh, zero, wala pa namang corruption na nangyari. Mukhang kami yung nakurap, uh, sila yung nakurap ng dawat kalina. <laughs> we, we invited him back. I hope he can come and you can talk to him uh, face to face. The, the mayor of the gig, uh, Freddy Tinga, you can talk to him face to face and ask him questions as to how this whole experience of GK has changed perspective into how he is running now his local government units. No? Uh, so we invited him. Now, second, we also saw that uh, so to speak fast, that airplane is having 10 minutes in the air. run for 10 minutes in the air. So napansin ko rin, pag ang mga bata, trendsetter kasi yung Asian heroes in particular. Uh, we anchor on the wisdom of the old. Marati kong ginitinod ng buko yung parenta. Parenta rin ako, so okay lang yun. Uh, trendsetter kasi, uh, when I say trendsetter, uh, yung yung generasyon na yan, yung generasyon na yan, tayo yung pinakamarami na yan in terms of uh, demographics. Although marami sa demographics na yan are also dependent. Uh, sa demographics na yan, maraming walang inagawa sa buhay. So if we are able to idle time for the youth is workshop for the devil. So kaya kahit anong magbula silang ginagawa kung ano nung maisip. So what we are saying is that if we can just inspire this demographics, this group, to start to go to the different communities and be uh, and, and bring their presence and start to build and start to really engage uh, GK, I feel that we will have a chance in, in really achieving that vision 2024, we call it. Um, for example, during the last year, 2009, we brought 200 volunteers to Sulu. I don't know if you've heard of Sulu. It's uh, down south of the now. We brought them to Panglima Istino at the height of the Red Cross uh, uh, hostage uh, situation. 200 Christians, young Christians, we rode on a ship, went into Panglima Istino and built 30 houses there. And uh, I must say that new courage na ng mga batang yon ay kakaiba. In fact, nung dumating nga kami doon, sabi ng mga muslim, kumiyak yung isang muslim na babae. Sabi niya, salamat dahil pumunta kayo dito. Sabi ko, pasensya na po sa mga bahay dahil balubalungkod po yung mga bahay dahil mga kapataan eh. So, hindi nila alam masyado yung pagtayo. Sabi niya, hindi po sa mga bahay kung hindi yung yung pagbigay nyo tiwala na pwede pa pala kami pagkatiwalaan ng mga muslim. Dahil yung pananaw ng buong Pilipinas ay kami mga muslim dito, lalo na sa Sulu, ay puro kami ang usayap sa taas. Yung kami, kami po yung nangigira. Kumiyak siya, kumiyak siya. Just by the mere presence ng mga tao dito. Meron ding isang muslim leader po, uh, nagulat ako sa ginawa niya, dahil alam niya kristyano, halos lahat na pumunta. Ang ginawa niya, pagkatapos na tayo yung mga bahay, may marker, nilagay na yung cross doon sa tabi ng crescent. Oo, oh, and sabi ko nga sa kanya, hindi mo na kailangan gawin yan, ha? Kasi hindi naman kami nandito para sa doon. Sabi niya, hindi, kasi I, sabi niya sa akin, I want to honor, sabi, I want to honor yung, yung every bit of uh, sweat from the 200 Christians that uh, touched my land. Because not a single thousand Muslim has ever done this uh, in our history. So, I was so parang amazed how peace can actually be built without talking about it. I was actually amazed how relationship can be built without talking about the, few, the, the past on who was the, the, the perpetrator who were the victims of this injustice. That people can actually just start to look uh, 
and, and move things forward without really um, allowing the past to define the future. Uh, of course, there were hurts, there were pain in the past, and we cannot deny that. But what they're saying is, alam mo, Luis, wala ka naman doon nung unang may taong bumarin sa isang pisa nung may muslim na pinarin sa isang pisa nung umpisa ng gulo na tayo. Wala naman tayo lahat doon. Eh. Pinasa lang ng pinasa ng pinasa yung kwento. Ginulo naman natin ng ginulo ng ginulo. So sabi niya, we have a chance here to rebuild peace without talking about it. So that was when the, first, the, the second GK village in uh, Sulu was built. No? And uh, we continue to build relationship with that community. In fact, we do have plans to go back there. And I think Mari will just give you the details. If you're up to it, it's only for the break. No? But uh, we do plan to go back there in Sulu. Uh, it's the safest place. Safer than Manila. So Manila, sasakay ka lang na gusto ko na gulo. Uh, if you look at the crime rates, mas mataas pa yung Manila kaysa, kaysa Mindanao or sa Sulu. No? So, it's really, it's not even about Muslim Christians. Eh? It, it's, it's about, again, at the heart of it, just read it and just use it uh, religion and faith. Okay, that's a message for them. But anyway, that is one. Thank you.